What's going on guys, welcome back. Hope everybody's had a good week. I am testing out my new camera today, so I'm going to apologize in advance for any light issues or sound issues or any other complications with focus or anything like that. I'm still trying to get used to this new camera. It is absolutely, absolutely awesome, but <laughs> very advanced. So, as you can see, quite a few goodies in the box today. We have some super fast, we have some majorettes, and we also have a few things off to the side here, which we can look at a little bit later on. So, hope everybody's got their hot chocolates or coffees, got their breakfast or lunch or dinner, and are ready to go and look at some awesome, awesome majorettes. I'm going to start off with... I'll start off with this one because it's a very cool looking little car. Oh, or it's actually... The a very cool looking little bike I should say. This is the Honda Monkey 250. No wait sorry, Z50. Very cool. This is from the Honda series. I can only assume that this is a 2020 release. I think this possibly is an A case for next year. Please correct me if I'm wrong because I do not recall a Honda series in the 2019 series. So I hope that there is going to be a cool Honda series for this year or next year, I should say. Ooh, what are we going to look at next? Let's go for this one. I'm sure you can all see it sitting here. Don't worry, I will get to the trailer at the end. We'll go for this one first. If you saw my most recent peg hunting video, you will have seen that I found a, a brand new supply of Majorettes. Volkswagen T-Worm with a surfboard on the roof. This one's from the Vintage series. Some Mumbo Jumbo on the back there. You can pause and read if you like, but it's not really that much information. But let's get into it. Ooh, yes, very nice, very nice. Blue and white two-tone color scheme. So you have painted details on the front there, painted Volkswagen logo. You have lensed headlights, very nice to see. Gray bumper, very cool. Nice wheels too, they look pretty good. Then there's your opening feature at the back along with some painted light detail. Here we also have a removable surfboard. There we go. So you can put this surfboard in there. I'm not too sure if they've got a uh, interchangeable piece for the top there, but it'll be very cool if they do. Quick look at the base. This is in 159 scale. So, very nice. Quite a few majorettes today. Quite a few majorettes. Let's go for this one hiding here. What do we have? Oh, the new Bentley Continental GT V8S. Very nice silver paint job. Nice detail. This one is from the Premium Cars range. And there we have it. Very nice. These wheels look very good. They actually suit the car quite nicely. Also have lensed headlights, painted details, painted logo on the front. Very cool. Opening and closing doors. Quick look at the rear. Painted lights, painted Bentley logo. Bit dark inside. I'm going to have to get another, another set of lights I think if I'm going to be using this camera. Quick look at the base. Ah, this is in 164 scale. Very nice. You can also see the suspension bars. So, 
got good suspension. Up next, we will go and put that down there so it won't fall away. We'll go for this one. Yes, the new Chevy Camaro. Nice candy red paint job. And these wheels have a chrome rim around them. So, from the premium car series, this one. There we go. That was just aching, aching to get out. Did not like being in its little plastic prison. There you go, you can see that it has a chrome ring around the wheel. Very cool. Not entirely sure why that is. I did see a couple of cars while I was there which had the chrome rim around them. I don't know if they're like a, uh, a special edition or a chase or anything like that. But it doesn't bother me. Still going to buy the car. You have your Chevy bow tie in the back. This possibly could have painted rear lights, but being a red car, you're not going to be able to see it. Have Camaro written on the side of the door, on the side of the fender panel. Very nice. I love that colour. That colour is absolutely awesome. Have a quick look inside. And this one is in 162 scale. But that is a very nice addition to my Camaro collection. My Majorette Camaro collection. Next, you can probably see it. Yes, I had to buy one. I had to buy the Citroen 2CV. How could I not? How could I not? Even the, with this opening feature showing off the really cool little tiny engine, definitely had to get this one. This is from the Vintage series. Oh, this is cool. Never seen these wheels before. Kind of like really skinny really skinny pizza cutter style wheels I love this paint, that's so cool what a good job, this is in a metallic red very s similar to the other uh, colour but this is more of a uh, more along the lines of a burgundy colour there you go, you can see the interior the engine details in there that's awesome I'm definitely going to have to get an extra light for next week Wow, very cool, very cool. It's one of those things when you get a new camera, the setup has to change to be able to show off the true, the true glory of these cars. So hopefully next week we'll be a little bit nicer on the eye, get a little bit more light on the situation. Up next. Possibly the last car that we're actually going to open today. This is the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in a nice, kind of like a baby blue kind of colour. Very, very, very cool. From the premium cars range. Wow. Now this looks very, very cool. I, I really have to apologise about the light. The light is not the best. It's not showing up the dark areas very well. It's very dark in places. But as you can see, there is a lot of detail on this. Have all your rear painted lights, GT3 RS logo, huge wing. Huge, huge wing. Opening and closing doors. Very nice. There you see the front lens headlights. Porsche logo. Very, very, very cool. There you go. Can barely see inside, unfortunately, but next week. Hopefully I'll be able to sort out the light situation. Alright. Now then, we have a couple more Majorettes. 
which we can, hmm, do I want to open it or not? Hmm, not this week, not this week. Sorry guys. First up, we have the Ford Raptor with the Airstream Sport 16 Caravan Trailer. The Caravan Trailer is the only reason why I wanted it. Because I what I, what I'd like to do is I'd like to attach it to something else, possibly even this Volkswagen. Maybe swap these two over or something like that. But that's just too cool. Very cool. Give you a quick look at the Raptor also. Has an opening bonnet or hood. Very cool. Set that down there. And then we'll have a look at the Volkswagen T6. See there's also a surfboard on this one. So you could change the colour surfboard if you'd like. And I, I think I will. When I eventually open this, I'm going to put the blue surfboard onto the blue bus. That'll look much better. This comes with a boat too. Very cool. Some scuba gear in the back there. Very cool. So, possibly next week, if you all complain to me in the comments about why I didn't open them today, I will definitely open them next week. So, I'll leave that one up to you guys. Do you want to, do you want me to open them or not? Because if not, they'll probably stay in there for, well, knowing me, probably a long time. Last couple of cars. Unfortunately, I will not be opening either of these two cars just yet. This one here is the Blue Shark, Blue Shark 60th, 50th Anniversary Series. Very cool, it's definitely a good throwback to the original cars. It's a very Lesney inspired design. I really, really like this. Like I really like that, that is just too cool. And the last car, it's not really the last car, I do have other things over here to show off. But the last car which is actually in the box is the Porsche 1980 Porsche 911 Turbo. Very cool card art on the box, but this car itself, holy cow, it's kind of like a, a candy blue, heavy tan interior blue and white striping on the top. Just an absolutely stunning, stunning example of the old school Porsche. Really like that too. So, let's get this out of the way. Get the rubbish out of the view. And go on to what we have left. First off, I think I might do this one. Yes, I finally got it. Got the bone shaker. Now I can do my Hot Wheels ID review. I'm going to give you a sneak peek. Very cool. Absolutely awesome looking car. I didn't show it a sneak peek of any of the other cars from the set. So, consider yourselves lucky. Next car is the 1997 Honda Civic Turbo. Oh, sorry, Type R. I'm so used to seeing Hondas with turbos in them and unfortunately the uh, the camera is not doing that any justice but we will open that up possibly next week also and the last one is the new Wave Cravers 5 pack with your combi uh, Ford Ranchero, Diora 2, Shark Cruiser, and a Chevy. I believe that's a 55 Chevy? Yes. There you go. So, stay tuned. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and you will be able to see the Wave Cravers 5 pack. So, that officially brings us to the end of another awesome Mystery Box Monday. 
I hope you're out there finding awesome things and adding awesomeness to your collections. I will always be trying to find some other awesome things to show you on the show. And until next time, I hope you have a great week, and I will see you all next time. Bye.